Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznas here, and welcome back to another episode of Road to Party Hat. We are on episode 18, and we have a ton of variety in this video. We do some mid-level PVM, we do some high-level PVM, and we just do all sorts of different stuff. And let me just say, this episode has tons and tons of drops. It's literally raining boss drops in this episode. We're going to have a big juicy loot tab at the end of the video to sell and make sure you smash the like button because we will be doing another bond giveaway at the end of this video so make sure to like and subscribe as well and watch to the end to see how to enter but this video is going to be a really entertaining episode and that brings us to today's sponsor, which is Legends of Eidolon, which is a game I actually play myself and really enjoy. This game is a cross-platform idle game that is available on both Steam for the PC and on Android. It has an extremely active community with over 1.2 million registered users and boasts a 90% positive rating on Steam. The gameplay is a mix between RuneScape and MapleStory. You can create multiple characters on Eidolon and they all work together even while you're offline. You can sync your account with any Android device and continue playing while on the go. There are basic skills just like RuneScape such as mining, fishing, and woodcutting with of course, like I said before, the iconic 2D art style that is reminiscent of old MapleStory. I highly encourage you guys to try out Eidolon as it's really such a throwback and feels new and nostalgic all at the same time. You can use the link in the description to download it for free, either on Steam or Android. And there's also a limited time summer event active, so now is a great time to get started. This game is actually really good, and it reminds me of the early RuneScape days, so I really hope you guys check this out. And thank you again for Legends of Eidolon for sponsoring today's video. Alright, so first we're going to start off with some giant oyster, which seems to be something we do every episode, and I always bring my monthly reset tokens, and I swear one day the oyster is going to give me something good. <laughs> he really is, just probably not today. As you can see, we can't even get a fortunate component from the giant oyster during both attempts, but hey, the giant oyster doesn't always treat you right. Maybe next month he will treat us right. So I did a lot of mid-level PVM this video, high-level PVM. I changed up and did a lot of different bosses. If you guys saw some of my Loot from 10 Hours video, uh, I did a big variety and I was just in the mood to do a lot of different bosses. So uh, we did do some Greg, which I actually don't have many things on the log, but we end up getting a Shadow Glaive, which is really, really nice to get. I think that's probably the best drop you can get from Greg. Main hand Shadow Glaive so not too bad and I basically did all the uh, God Wars 2 bosses I did some Vindicta which I actually do have the Vindicta log um, I got it a long time ago it's honestly one of the first logs I've done and if any of you are just getting into PVM Vindicta is a really good boss to go to because it's not too hard uh, but you can also get some good loot as you can see here we get the Dragon Rider Lance uh, which says it's like 40 mil I think it sold for less later but hey pretty good um, that's the best drop you can get from Vindicta so I will take that all day and then I did some Hellware, which I just need the pet for the log I have everything else um, so I was hoping to get the pet from Hellware. I didn't do too much of it um, I think probably about four hours in total and I started off very lucky and sadly I actually didn't get the drop on recording but as you can see here, we got an Orb of the Kaiwer Elders, and then the next drop, we got another Orb of the Kaiwer Elders. My uh, file corrupted, which really sucks because, you know, it was such a cool drop, but at least I got a screenshot of the chat. But yeah, pretty good. We've gotten decent drops at all the God Wars 2 bosses. I did some Twin Furies, but didn't get too much. And then I moved on to higher level PVM to finish some things off. So then we moved on to some Araxor. Now I do have the Araxor log done, but I have been trying to complete a leg for a while. I do currently have one piece of the leg and I need two more. So I decided to go to Rax because it's pretty easy uh, with range, especially with the Saren Godbow. It really just makes things so much 
much easier and like greater ricochet it's not like the past when i used to do racks with like a noxious longbow and stuff and i was you know just beginning pvm and my kills were like eight minutes long it's really smooth sailing at like three and a half minutes um but so far no luck but we do end up getting um a leg piece right here so this is one of the pieces we need here um, I believe this is the spider leg top. Yes, it is. So really not bad there. Super happy to see that. I haven't gotten a hilt in a while. Um, so I was hoping that I would get a leg and, you know, luckily we do end up getting one. So now I believe we just need the spider leg middle left. Uh, so I decided to do some more racks and I was actually doing racks on mobile for a video you guys might have seen But it was actually kind of enjoyable. So I kept doing it and as you can see here we do end up getting um, The spider leg piece that we needed So there it is the spider leg piece and now we have all three pieces finally uh, it was a grind. I think I had the one piece in my bank if you go back and look at my previous episodes for a long time And it's nice to get that out of the way So after this after all the bossing I had done I had actually saved up enough Reaper points to buy a Hydrix So I spent 300 Reaper points to buy the Hydrix which honestly uh, didn't take too long seeing as I now have Reaper's choice so I can pick my assignment most days So 300 points and we get 61 million GP So really really good as just a passive thing make sure you do your Reapers guys It's just really good money and now we're gonna move on to some necks so I went to necks and I'm really trying to get the log done um, I'll show you in a minute, but we got some Torva gloves here, which is pretty nice. Um, I've been really lucky with Torva for some reason. I don't know what it is. Pernix, uh, Virtus, I just, Torva just seems to drop the most for me, uh, which is nice because Torva is really expensive compared to things like Torva or Pernix and Virtus. So really nice to get the Torva gloves because that's still 30 mil. And in terms of my log, this is what I have right now. As you can see, uh, a lot of Torva there. Um, looks like we need the Torva helm and boots still, and then I need the Pernix cowl, Pernix boots, and Virtus top, and then I luckily have never gotten a Virtus wander book, which I believe are really, really cheap, and of course I need the pet, but with about 800 kills, I think the log is pretty decent, so I have been doing quite a bit of necks, and as you'll see here, we end up getting... Torva gloves again, so it's still another 30 mil even though it doesn't really help out the log But yeah, Nex has just been really really nice to me lately So after this I went and did some Raksha now Why am I doing Raksha you might ask well greater ricochet is just so expensive and Raksha is just such good money and I have all this range gear, even though I've completed the log, as you guys can see, I do only have one greater ricochet codex, which for like 1200 kills is kind of unlucky. I think it's about one in 500 for a specific codex. So I was hoping to have more by now, but hey, uh, that just means we got to grind some more. So I did decide to grind more Raksha. It's just easy for me now since I've done so many kills. I have the gear. Uh, I just consistently get like three and a half to four minute kills. I don't really try that hard or like really try to get super speedy kills i just you know it's kind of second nature at this point from all the kills i've done definitely the most kills i've done in a boss just the specific boss in the last you know six seven months i've been pretty much doing it since release um but yeah we just did a nice i i'd say about uh, five or six hours of raksha for this video so you know a decent chunk uh, i think that's about mm, I'm not sure, 70, 80 kills, something like that, probably a bit more. Um, but we end up getting some Blast Diffusion boots, which is not that great. They're the worst drop you can get from Raksha in terms of uniques. Um, I do have quite a bit of those, as well as the Laceration. Um, and then here, I think this may have actually been the same hour. We end up getting some more blast diffusion boots so yeah not really what i wanted to get blast diffusion boots twice 
but hey, you're gonna get some duds when you're doing Raksha, and I'm hoping eventually we can get another Greater Ricochet, cause you know, 1.3, 1.5 bill, whatever it is, is a huge addition to the bank, and that'll be really nice on our quest to a party hat. So after Raksha, I decided to do some Temple of Aminchi. As you can see, we got 12 Ancient Scales there. But it's a boss that I've been enjoying doing lately just because it's decent money. Um, it's pretty consistent as you're going to get a decent amount of scales each time if you're doing solo. It's easy for me to do with range gear, so uh, that's a plus. And it's a boss that I only need the pet to complete the log. So yeah, I've been doing a bit of that, and while there aren't any crazy rare drops, like I said, the money is just really consistent with the ancient scales, but we didn't get anything too crazy, but a good amount of money added to the bank. Now it's time to show you guys and sell my huge loot tab that I've been saving probably for the past month. A uh, month or so so we've got everything in there like my hydrix we've got all the rare boss drops all the normal loot it's really added up as you can see at the top there's so much like onyx dust and salvage and stuff like that i have a few pets in there as well from the previous video finally completed the spider legs so just a ton to sell here and a ton to go through However, something I did notice uh, while we're selling this here, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this at all, but a lot of like weapons and stuff like that weren't selling at their usual price. Maybe it's just the time that I decided to sell stuff, but I was having to drop some things below like the Dragon Rider Lands. Uh, I saved it for a while. As you guys saw in the clip, it was 41 mil. Uh, when I got it as a drop on the floor and it actually sold for like 29 mil So I'm not really sure what happened to Dragon Rider Lances in the past, you know, two three weeks uh, Since I got that drop, but for some reason it went down and I noticed spider leg was a little cheap as well So what do you guys think? Is it just because the Elder God Wars is coming? Maybe new uh, New stuff is coming or you know, maybe it's just a natural drop in price But nonetheless, we ended up selling the the whole loot tab which uh, I always love selling these and we got 573 mil from this loot tab so really really nice I always love saving up loot tabs and if you're somebody that doesn't have a ton of motivation to PVM or just you know maybe you want to motivate yourself to make more money save up a loot tab to a certain point or for a certain period of time let's say two weeks of PVM and it's just really fun to sell it all at the end and uh, yeah, what's the biggest loot tab you guys have ever had? Because I think mine's probably about like one bill or so. So this one is uh, it's pretty high up there. But yeah, now we're going to move on to showing you guys all the progress I made this video and look at where our bank is at. All right, guys, so now we're going to look at the bank and the progress we made. So I just want to say the wealth evaluator is not accurate anymore, and I think I'm going to stop using it at the end of these videos just because there's so many things I figured out that make it not accurate. So I maybe uh, start giving my own estimation of my bank value um, and, you know, going off that instead and showing you guys the bank maybe to get a better look at things and then showing you like my raw cash as well. Um, and the reason I'll show you here, so I bought mage gear as you can see, so that's something that's changed in the bank. Uh, a future video um, coming soon is why I bought a lot of it. But as you can see, Inquisitor staff here, uh, you know, this is like 575 mil. Well, if we look at the wealth evaluator, it shows it's 800k. So I figured there's actually a lot of items that do this. So that's the reason I'm going to stop using the wealth evaluator. But I went ahead and estimated it and our bank is about 5.4, 5.3 bill um, in items this video. So a decent, you know, uh, decent progress there. We did make around 600 mil this video, so it makes sense for that gain. So we're slowly inching closer and closer to our party hat, but of course we still have a long way to go. The bank hasn't really changed too much. Like I said, we've got the mage gear 
and uh, we still have our big range set up so we do have some cash now so maybe next episode uh, we'll get some more gear upgrades or we'll just start saving for that sweet max cash pile but uh, we'll have to see uh, next episode is probably going to be uh, well a certain boss that you guys will probably see in a future uh, release of a video that I'm going to come out with in a few days uh, sometime you know later this week so keep on the lookout for that but I also want to say we're doing another bond giveaway so on my community tab right now you can see who won the last bond giveaway and then we're going to be giving away another two bonds this episode so if you want to win the two bonds all you have to do is subscribe i know a lot of you actually aren't subscribed so uh, if you guys could subscribe that would be amazing uh, make sure you're subscribed like the video and then leave a comment and tell me your favorite runescape memory it doesn't matter what it is just your favorite memory and then i'll be picking from that but of course make sure you're subscribed and you like the video and yeah i think it was a pretty good episode and also make sure you guys check on the sponsor of this video Eidolon. it's not my usual sponsor i actually seek the sponsorship out because i really like the game um, and i saw it sponsored before and it really reminds me of old runescape maple story um, the developer is a fellow runescape player as well uh, he's you know played runescape for a long time um, so i talked to him a bit and it's just a really good game and i really want you guys to uh, you know, give it a check out. So leave a comment below if you tried it out. Make sure you go to the description and download it for either Steam or mobile or both. You can play it on either. And yeah, like I said, it's a really, really fun game. And if you're looking for something different, but with kind of a runescapey, you know, vibe, it's a really good one. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, giveaway will be announced next video as well. And if you want to see who won the last giveaway, go to my community page. But that's it for the rambling. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.